team, I'd just like to welcome you all here tonight to the Lord's Party, the Mobile One, Team Sussex 2011 Park. We are honoured to have you here as our guests and are so grateful for all of your support. The team has benefited from having known each other for nearly four years and I can honestly say that this team has grown into a group of best friends and produced what I think, and I'm certain what you will think, is the best Team Sussex entry yet. The project itself is the design and construction of a single-seater race car. It is the only student-based project that offers a real-life engineering experience not only from a design and manufacturing perspective, but also business and safety aspects too. Keeping on time was a major thing this year, which we found hard to do and lots of schedules were made. We had to think about engineering things to a low cost. And the last thing that I think that has got us to where we are now is that we all like each other. We're all mates and uh, we all enjoy engineering and I think that's important. I said that Kieran was what got me through this year. Wally got me through the year. We've been visited by our patrons, Mark Evans and Johnson Bahari BC. We've had the advice and wisdom from the experienced race engineer, Jerry Holford, and the acceptance of testing the car by his son, Miles Holford. They've certainly been very innovative in what they've been doing. They've evolved from last year. Inevitably, when you're testing a car, it's about finding the mistakes, correcting them and moving on. Fantastic job anyway. Well done to the team. It's such a hard job to bring on a such a limited budget, a car of this standard together. I think they've done a really fantastic job and I think the car should do really, really well. And I'm really looking, looking forward to driving the car. If I could ask Richard Atkins to come forward, he's an unbelievable engineering consultant and has done wonders for the team. Thank you very much. all be very proud of what these young people have produced here today. In one academic year, they've designed, project managed and built this most remarkable creation. They started off as individuals. What is so impressive is the way they help each other. We've got a, a resident rock fighter at the end, Molly, <laughs> who, in the words of wisdom, kicks ass. All the guys who have been absolutely excellent. The event. It's at Silverstone. It's the weekend immediately after the British Grand Prix. There are 130 universities bringing cars along to compete against each other. We are competing at Sussex University with the best in the world. They've been very mature for their age and they've learnt from their mistakes. With all engineering designs like this, you have possibly two or three iterations. They've been working 110%. And I couldn't wish for a better set of guys, absolutely first class. And I'm sure they'll do well, not just at the event in Silverson, but throughout life. They've learned so many valuable lessons. They all go on from here, and they'll be great members of the community. And uh, I'm very proud to have known them. There's one final thank you that we must make before we unveil the car to you. He has a true passion for the Born and Student Project and for Team Sussex. This man is Rupert Bravery, and I'd just like to invite him to the front to say a few words. Um, yes, I got involved with the team three, three years ago now. Exxon Mobil in the form of Mobil One, which involved in a lot of high-end motorsport uh, activity, but really nothing compares to this. This team have done and built this car for a price which I think equates to a McLaren air gun. <laughs> <laughs> what these guys have done with the money that is available is extraordinary. The way they've been able to do it is because they've actually worked as a team to overcome the fact they don't have funding. They're fairly selfless, this team, because when they collect money for the Nose Cone Club, they also donate half of that money to Help for Heroes. It's only a tenner, but when you join the Nose Cone Club, not only are you helping the team raise this car, you're supporting Help for Heroes, you also will have your photograph taken, and your photograph will be put on the front of the car. You can then feel part of the team. You are racing with them, and you're also, if we get unlucky, crashing with them. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really great that previous members of uh, the Mobile One Team Sussex, who have left the university and gone on to other things, have come back to see how the development of the race cars has progressed since they first started three years ago. We start on a very limited budget with nothing, um, and Chris spent months with sponsors saying, please believe in us, we can do this project and we can produce this car in a year. Thankfully, Exxon Mobil Group of Bravery took us under their wing and gave us the appropriate sponsorship and support. I mean, 
three years later, you wouldn't believe that it's the same project. We're very proud of our car, but we're also very proud that they've managed to now achieve this. Johnson, if you'd like to come forward and do the honours, actually, with Michael Farthing as well, if you'd like to unveil the car. We're very proud to have him here today. He's the Vice Chancellor of the University. If you could do the honours and please unveil the car. Slowly or fast? It was amazing to see what the team have produced. Without a doubt, it's the best car the Sussex University ever produced. But having the best car is not the end of it. What we need now is to take this car on the track and get and win the competition. So proud of you guys. If anybody wants to see Sussex University, the <coughs> University of Sussex at its best, look at this lot. And it's uh, spectacular. It's just wonderful. One of the things that universities have to think about, of course, is not just the course that students study, not just their engineering and design. It's uh, what happens after. This is about the outside world. This is university students working in a university but creating something that is of use, of value. Best is yet to come because you're going to take this thing out on a racetrack and, uh, and have a lot of fun. On behalf of all of us at the university, we're extremely proud of you. You're great ambassadors. Goodness knows how fast you're going to be able to drive this vehicle. I hope at some point you might just let me have a go. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you for doing what you've done. Uh, let's enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. It's been a fantastic evening. What a fantastic team. Major contribution to life at Sussex. I wish them every good luck. I'm sure they're going to win the race. This evening, I think, has been probably the best launch event we've ever had, aided by the fact that this is the, the best, the, the prettiest, the most professional looking car that we've ever managed to produce. That has shown uh, or been demonstrated in the reaction that we've had from the people who've come to see the car and to see the car launched. I think what's brought got Sussex University this far is yeah, their persistence, their teamwork, and just generally their integrity that as a team to bring everything together. We have here today two McLaren Formula One top race mechanics. Like called Neil Trundle, who started with Ron Dennis, and Chalky. They've looked at the car, looked at the finish of the bodywork, and they said, this is the Formula One standard. Hats off to the guys, very, very good indeed. Formula One people are impressed. I've taught most of these students for the last four years, on and off, on different courses. I'm incredibly impressed with what this year's team has done, and I'm very proud as well of their achievement. The reason this team has been really successful is that, first of all, they worked as a team. They've had four years together at the university. They haven't fallen out. They've remained friends. And I think it's a real credit to them that they've worked as a cohesive unit.